What's up, Bare Knuckle News fans? I'm here with the boss man himself. Boss Omaha was amazing. These young fighters here brought the talent tonight. What do you think about these local kids? I mean, they were hungry. The crowd was unbelievable. I had a talk with them before. As you know, I talked to the fighters before, but I told these guys, I said, look, man, I got some, some checks that aren't written out yet. I said, let me write these checks to you guys. Go out there and fight your asses off, and they did. Yeah. So now I got to write them some checks. No, nah, they did. I, th I think, I obviously think that P-Town, Sean Wilson, and, and that Rocky fight was an amazing fight, but who knows? That's not my job. There's so many other great fights. I know we had some big announcements, too. Uh, I think there was an announcement about Colorado, maybe, something like that. And, man, that's awesome. Is the doors open there? Yeah, Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship will go there September 24th at the Budweiser Arena right outside of uh, of Denver, Colorado. So that's going to be a great one for us. We just opened up another couple states, which I can't mention right now. But I mean, we got so many, so many things going on. But this card tonight was great. How about Houston Alexander? I mean, you know, 50 years old and and fighting and beating the young dudes, man. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. No, also too, Josh Dreyer coming back. I mean, he's a, he's definitely someone to a force to be reckoned with in that weight division. There's definitely a, a future for him in that weight division too. What do you think next for him? Yeah, I mean, Dakota Cochran is no walkover. I mean, he, you know. He, He's vicious in bare knuckle, and he made it look easy tonight. So Josh Dyer, definitely, I mean, I think, you know, he's going to come back and he's going to have a good run in his weight. We're looking forward to going across the pond in London. Anything else you can give us? I know I try to get tidbits from you every time, and you said you're going to announce something Monday, but anything for me, boss? Yeah, man, we just got, I mean, we got Paige Van Zandt on the card. She'll be on the card. We have um, uh, Connor Tierney's coming back. He's fighting uh, Joe Elmore, which that'll, that'll be a great fight. We have... Uh, Tyler Goodjohn's coming back. James Lilly's coming back. Mick Terrell's going to fight uh, Sam Shoemaker. So we got a lot of great fights. And then all them badasses over there in England, man. I mean, those guys, you know, they started this stuff really back in the day. And, you know, we're giving it to them at the Wembley Arena. How about that? The Wembley Arena, right? We started at an ice skating rink in Cheyenne, Wyoming, June 2nd, 2018. July 16th, 2022, we're going to be at the Wembley Arena. It's amazing. Yeah, I, I actually just got goosebumps. I don't know about you. Dave's doing great things for this sport. He's pioneering it. He's revolutionizing it, and it's just continuing to be a success. Boss, you inspire me and many others, like I say every time, and I thank you so much for this interview. Is there anything else you want to let us know? No, nah, man, I mean, just check out all the action on the Bare Knuckle TV app. I mean, it's just it's going down all the time here. We have uh, June 11th at, uh, in Mississippi, then June 24th at the Hard Rock, and then Ju uh, July 16th at the Wembley Arena, August 6th, August 27th, I think it is. September. I mean, it's just going to be so many fights that we got coming up all over the world. Really, we're just growing this thing fast. And, you know, 2022 is going to be a phenomenal year for us. But 2023, watch out the rest of the combat sports world. We are coming. Well, folks, the boss man just gave me my schedule for the rest of the year. I'm happy to get two weeks off. This is Big Boy with the man, David Feldman. And Bare Knuckle News, no one beats us to the punch.